Ed Bain, he's the president of Dominion Energy Virginia, and right now he stands at the helm of his company's massive undertaking, the Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Project. The 2600 megawatt wind farm when built is expected to pave the way for clean for a clean energy future. Generating electricity doesn't help you much if you don't get it to customers. He's Ed Bain, the fairly new president of Dominion Energy, overlooking the Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Project. It's a big deal designed to balloon the state's renewable energy portfolio. Nearly 200 wind turbines will stretch 600 feet into the air, 27 miles off Virginia's coast. A clean energy undertaking to power 660,000 homes and businesses. This project is critical uh, for meeting our clean energy future in the Commonwealth, uh, as well as the nation as a whole. And we believe it will create you know, hundreds of jobs, uh, as well as millions of dollars of tax revenue, not only during the construction phase, but operation phase as well. But how do you get the wind from out there to energy over here? You start at the wind turbines, which generate electricity. Uh, they go to offshore substations. You have underwater sea cables that come uh, to a point onshore. And then ultimately, you have to tie it to the grid. Pilot projects already have two of the spinning wind giants in the ocean leading the way for the commercial project. They're 12, uh, 12 megawatts, uh, but they're powering homes right now. It gives us confidence uh, in the larger project, uh, not only from a construction perspective, but from an operational perspective as well. And, um, you know, it's taught us a lot on how to really just jumpstart this offshore wind uh, industry here in Hampton Roads. Now, Bain says public outreach has been a big part of the project's success as Dominion begins to survey property where the transmission lines could be located. And we have a phone number, website, and email for you to get more information in this story on 13newsnow.com.